must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Wait, where's Conrad? Has anyone seen him? We got split up. I, I saw him. I, I, I mean, Fliss and I both did, uh, right? <clears throat> yeah, but just for a second, I tried to catch up, but he was gone. Gone where? Why? This, this just doesn't add up. He could be hurt. Bad. For all we know. Oh, he did. He fell. It's the kind where you don't get back up. No. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going back right now and we're gonna find my brother. Julia. He could be dying right now. We have to. We will. Just not yet. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Did you see the gold, anything? It might be time to accept there's no gold here. Would have seen it by now. What do you think actually happened to this place? No idea. There was a note about a storm in the logbook. I guess they got caught in it. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? I can't shake the feeling we're in one big floating coffin. So where did all the corpses come from? They actually look like they've been scared to death. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Gotta get off this damn ship. No shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. these if they weren't Swiss cheese. Find a way up. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Oh, damn. Yeah. 
Cast mask instructions. Always ensure your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, do not panic. Remain calm and clearly shout gas, gas, gas to warn anyone in the vicinity. Hold your breath. Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. Hook the belt around your waist. Remove your helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with both hands. Put your chin inside the mask first, then pull the mask over your face and the harness straps over your head. Remove any potentially trapped gas. Close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply, then push any remaining air out of the mask with your hands. Check for leaks by tightly squeezing the flexible corrugated hose with your hand and inhaling. The mask should crumble around your face. If the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug, then repeat the process above until the mask crumbles to ensure there are no leaks. Huh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Let go of the hose. You may now breathe as you normally would. Replace any headwear and close the carrier bag. You may now remove your mask only when told it's safe and instructed to do so. Prise the mask open slightly and smell the air. If you detect gas, Close the opening and repeat the process of closing the outlet valve, breathing out sharply and pushing any potentially trapped gas out of the mask with your hands. Once you have removed the mask, replace the mask and flexible corrugated hose into the carrier bags as you found it. You may remove the carrier if it is no longer required by unfastening the belt and shoulder sling. Gas masks will only be issued in the event of a gas leak. A little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. Oh, no, I'm trying to get on the stairs. Yes. This is... This is where I chased comrades before. Over here. Gotta wait through here. So wait, if she was chasing Conrad, was he hallucinating and she was the... That would actually make a lot of sense. Huh. 
Last log shows him caught in a storm. A swell from the weed waves, 20 feet, no damage reported. PM weather continues to deteriorate as does forecast crew bearing up. AM, wind at storm force gaining strength. Weather is exceptional, several lightning strikes hitting OM, but causing no sustained damage. We are leaking some water, but it is under control. Navigator, port seabed death, readable. Operational logs for SS Orang. AM, sea going down, noon, thick fog, PM, increasing head, PM. AM, 7.30, fog very thick, midnight, PM, dense fog continues. So is that the name of the ship we're on, the SS Urang? Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Okay, United States Department of the Navy, 22nd of June. Uh, 007, uh, 0007, heavy storm blown off course. 0012, report of hold two flooded. 0023 excessive lightning strikes 0048 adrift in shallow waters location unknown 0120 seabed depth believed uncharted unable to establish depth 0132 search for new crew member overboard commenced 0140 search called off 0141 heavy cloud cover as yet unable to establish location Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Look, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's have some for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit, we got him. Uh. Come on, this is an emergency, please. Freighter. Our location is 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please come in. Hey, 
Come here, look! This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia, it's you and I. Broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. After you. Okay. I'm guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Medical officer's report. Minutes of meeting between scientists X, C, W, O, Walter Bishop and C, W, O, Tom Palmer with Sergeant Peter Wood observing and X for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn for the same thing the Western world must be protected from. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investing the chemical and biological agents in warfare. Our act, limited by the Geneva Protocol, have experiments we were unable to. Describes an investigation during to test the effects of human subjects of the molecular crystal structure hallucinogens, codenamed Mercurian gold, chemical munitions, battle. It was, even relatively minor, observed to be triggering significant hallucinations. Men, highly convincing. Subjects seeing and hearing things that were not there, even. The danger was manifold and in its intensity. Okay, so the Manchurian gold is not actually gold. It's a chemical and it's causing these hallucinations. But I was right. Things are not... Like, we're hallucinating. We're not... Um, Some sort of altercation. In that Private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a man manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. Ten days in the brig. Wow. Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. 
Mama needs you to move. Julia. Thank you. I was kind of stuck. Brig Week 27, Monday. Arthur Miller, private petty theft, one day brig, small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Dadu's private trespass, two days brig, found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Friday, PFC Lewis brand, public intoxication, one day. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication one day Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Saturday. Huh. I guess there was a guy named Joe in sickbay. Charles Anderson, public intoxication brawling 10 gates. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Joseph Roberts, public intoxication, brawling 10 days. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Assigned to sick bay for medical treatment prior to internment. I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, in any other circumstance, you know, this place would be the coolest place to explore. Like, like ever. I'm gonna say no. Not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find a generator, right? Uh, the ladder's broken off here. I, I think I can just... Wait! Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, uh, all good. Just come down. <laughs> oh God! What's up? That it, 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 it was. It was. Wait, wait, didn't you see it? Um. Hello. Okay, so I so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something. And the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. We know the plane was here, and that they shot at it. Could have been a result of the psychosis. Oh god. Alright, let's get going. At Sir Van Linden Engine Works, Rotterdam, Netherlands. Diesel engine number 1734 year 1920 type L87C SE. 
engine room telegraph log. 2237, two third ahead, Ballard acknowledged, engine speed adjusted. 2310, stand ahead, Ballard acknowledged, engine set to standard speed. 2345, Lieutenant Young reported to relieve me of watch duty. I relayed engine running at standard speed with no special or standing orders from bridge or chief engineer and no maintenance or hazard issues in engine room. I found Lieutenant Young to be of a sober and comp compass mentis disposition to hand over watch at 2400. Signed G. Phillips. Uh, quadruple zero. Relieve Lieutenant Phillips of watch at at 0000 hours. Inspected engine room for abnormalities, performed equipment and machinery checks prior to watch, no faults found. Previous log entries examined, currently standard speed engine, no new bridge orders. 0008, full ahead, bell acknowledged, full speed ahead. 0024, flank, flank ahead, flank bell acknowledged, engine adjusted to maximum speed. 0026, standing order from Chief Engineer, cut engine room power from all non-essential lighting and machinery. 0105, Chief Engineer entered engine room for emergency inspection. Look at this. The ship was actually anchored. I wonder why. 0129, stop bell acknowledged, cut engine power. 0132, order received to anchor in shallow water in the middle of the Pacific. You know what I miss right now? Dry clothes? This looks like a generator. Look at this! The rebreather! The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. Could be a lifesaver. He's hallucinating.
How would he do this? We have to be very careful. He's crazy as a shit house rat. Internal memorandum, top secret, FAO captain, uh, corporals, chaplain. You little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? You can't have all the gold. Then I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. He's breathing down our necks. Please tell me you have an escape plan. We can't risk moving yet. Just need to watch and wait for an opening. Ah! Smug Americans have smashed their way into a foreign land and come up short. The generators are on. The gold is mine. And now I'm the one who gets to smash. Me! With my big fucking armor! Still need that cap thing off him though. We can't start the boat without it. These doors were meant to withstand all sorts of stuff. Isn't it? I 
haven't breathed any weird mist. Please, I promise. Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Come on, man. There is no mist. better wait by the radio why I'm gonna check the next level there might be some more gear down there we can use uh I'm not going far just wait by the radio I saw the, the the big guy. He had the distributor cap. I gotta go after him. This must have been what we just heard. Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. I'm gonna make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. Top secret, FAO Captain Harold Fisher, CW5, 
Walter Bishop, CW4, Todd Palmer, Harold, Tom, Walter. Military intelligence has indicated that Sergeant Jones and five of his platoon have gone missing during a reconnaissance mission at the water purification plant. Our men in the field have been able to make contact and the situation there is grave. It is not known if they have been captured or if they are alive, only that their last known position was approaching the plant and then they went silent. The plant has high security. They are expecting you of course but they will restrict your movement your moment around the plants so that may prove difficult to look for drones your primary objective is clear but your secondary ob objective when you reach your destination is to locate Jones and his men and get them back home you must be vigilant and very concerned with your personal safety at all times your country is behind you General Henry L Rasner US Army Okay, well we have the distributor cap at least. It's a hallucination! None of this is real. None of this is real. We know none of it is real. We know it's hallucinations. Let's try it.
Conrad was running from something. He was really scared, like terrified. I, I, I don't know why. I couldn't see what he was seeing. I, I should have been there. She died. Maybe I could have done something. Maybe it could have been me. Who knows it should have been. Okay, we got through it. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Not a bad effort. Some lived, some died. All your fault. Way to make me feel guilty. Things became curator. a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. <laughs> Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable there is okay that'd be the helicopter we radioed for before So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here, huh? Whoa, what the hell is this? 